All right, guys. Um, I actually forgot to record an intro for this video, so I'm having to do this very quickly because I've been trying to get things done ASAP. Got plans for later today, mainly on Animal Crossing. Um, in this video, we will be looking at how I painted Fabius Spile. Uh, it came out the other week. Uh, got some time to sit down and paint him this week. Yeah, it's fun. Very different to how I remember the original being. But, um, Fabius. Killed f Fabulous. Uh, yeah. A little bit different to previous videos. I have added in about here the names of the paints that I'm using and who makes them. Um, I had a few messages asking if I could do that at some point because uh, some people couldn't understand what I was saying, which is always good. Uh, in any case, let us know what you think. Um, yeah. Onwards. It's Fabius. I went straight in with a white surface primer from Green Stuff World, and then when that was dry, I did Fabius's skin tone with Gilliman Flesh. Which is actually my favourite contrast paint for doing flesh tones with. I did try to take care of not letting the contrast paints pull up too much uh, in the eyes and the details. And if you are here to see how badly I mangled the eyes, um, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but those eyes are tiny and I do not have any faith in my abilities to do that yet. Moving on to his lovely flesh trench coat thing, I used contrast paints Darko Flesh, uh, mainly because it's a little bit darker than your standard flesh and I wanted this to look like it had been, you know, it's his favourite coat, he's going to wear it a lot. I am a little bit more messy with this model than I normally am, I, in hindsight, I probably should not have put the entire model together before starting. Next time, I'll do this in pieces. Sub-assembly, that's the proper term, isn't it? Uh, next model that's got these intricate fiddly bits around its back and everywhere, I will, I will, I'll paint it before gluing it all together. Moving on to his power armour. It took me a couple of attempts to settle on a purple that I quite like. Um, there's nothing in the contrast range that really did it for me, so I went for Instar Alpha's pure purple as a base. I did try uh, Insta Alpha's Xenos purple, which it was. It didn't come out. It didn't look right to me. It's a nice purple, but uh, I stuck with pure. When all that was dry, I went over the top with Shayish purple, um, just to darken it up a little bit, add a bit of detail into the recesses. I like it. I think it came out quite nicely. Moving on to the trim of his armor and various ornaments I went with Creature Caster's Pro Acryl range. I really do love the metallics and I use them quite a bit on this model. Uh, this is their bronze. I think it comes out quite nicely. For the weird fleshy lump on the uh, backpack I used Magos Purple. Magos Purple is probably one of the weaker ones of the contrast range. Um, I don't see it having much of a use other than like slight highlighting but uh, in in my opinion anyway but for uh, weird fleshy lumps uh, I think it does quite nicely Breaking out the Creature Caster Pro Acryl Dark Silver, I went over basically everything that I didn't go over with the bronze. So this is a Dark Silver. Um, I think this is a better Lead Belcher than Lead Belcher, in, again, in my opinion. It uh, also does quite well with the little rivets that uh, his coat's tied up with. For his hair, I used a Space Wolf Grey contrast paint because I think it looks nice. Obviously, not right now. When it dries a bit and it's not so blotchy, uh, you'll, you'll see a difference. It would also probably help if I made sure the camera was actually in focus when I'm trying to show off bits. That's a bit better.
I used black Templar contrast paint to do his hands, so his gloves. Um, I just thought it looked nice. I also used it on the dark silver because I, I'll admit I, I like using contrast paints as washes over metallics because sometimes you get some really nice effects. Back onto the Creature Caster Pro Acryl Silver for this one. Using that on the Rod of Torment. And then I went over a couple of details on the backpack. So the Chirurgeon, can't pronounce it right, I don't think. So teeth, bolts, drill bit, knife blade, it's all good. For various pipes, I used Pterodon, Pterodon Turquoise, um, because it looks nice. And I'm going to admit, it was a bit of a pain in the backside trying to only get paint on where I was aiming. Um, I do go over a bit and tidy up various bits later on, so it doesn't look as messy. Unfortunately, my memory card played with me, so I used the Terran Tokos on the vials on his backpack and his needler, and then tried to blend it in with Aerochromatic Blue. Uh, it took a couple of attempts, but it did come out quite nicely. On the Chirurgeon vial, I used Magos Purple at the top, and then did the lower half in uh, Blood Terra's Red. Which again, once blended together, came out quite nicely. Going back to the Rod of Torment, I use Contrast's Leviathan Blue. I, I don't actually know why. I like it. I like the colour. I'm just not quite sure why I chose it for the Rod. Just one of those things. Although once it had dried, I did give it a second coat just to darken it up a little bit. And then I struggled to do the inside of the coat with uh, Leviathan Blue. Um, as a side note, my memory card also decided at the next point to start messing up and completely missed out me doing the rest of the pipes in Flesh Terror's Red. So uh, there's a little note and in a moment you'll see exactly where I've painted it and how it looks. Moving on, I grabbed my snakebite lever and went over the lever straps holding his tools onto his uh, flesh coat and the little bits of, I don't know, are they string? The, the bits that are tying his coat together. I think it comes out quite nicely when it's all dried up. For the odd head thing hanging from his side. I kind of thought to myself that looks like a sister of battle, so uh, I did Apothecary White for her hair, which basically just adds a little bit of shading in between things. Uh, things, the strands of her hair is what I mean. I think it, it looks nice. It's at this point that I start going over the small bits I've missed out on the first pass. So this is uh, Creature Caster's Pro Acryl Silver to do the little rings that are binding the flesh onto his shoulder uh, shoulder armor. Pauldron? Is that right? Could be. Who knows? I switched over to uh, Citadel's technical art coats uh, just to try and bring out the. The, the fact that they were glass vials on the gun and on his backpack, and I wanted to make them look... A I wanted them to stand out a little bit. Also, I just really wanted a reason to use the yard coat that I've had sat next to me for God knows how long. And I, I genuinely do think it worked quite well. While that was drying, I got the Darko Flesh and finished off the head hanging from his belt. So obviously this is the same colour I used for his uh, flesh coat. Um, I actually did the flesh coats, the two layers of Darko on it, just to darken it up in places. So I think there's enough difference between the two. Again, making sure that there's no pooling in the eyes. And to be fair, once that coat had dried, I went over again ever so slightly in the eye sockets just to sort of darken them up a little bit. 
and then I finished him off with a nice simple base job, painted the uh, his base <laughs> steel legion drab, put some army painter dirt on the top, made Nurgle's rot uh, leaking from the Xylus needler and sort of puddling on the base. Things I've learned from this one. Don't super glue everything together until you know how you're going to paint it. So if I had a chance to do this one again, I would do it in pieces rather than as one complete model. Um, there are a couple of areas where you might be able to just see that I couldn't get a paintbrush into without absolutely destroying what I'd done. But overall, I'm happy with it. Um, I do like using contrast paint, as you might have noticed on my channel. And I think the most important thing with contrast paints is to learn, <laughs> learn their limits. Some of them work really well, like the Darko Flesh that does really nice skin. Gilliman's Flesh, also really nice skin. Aegos Purple, not particularly something you'd use as a main colour, maybe for highlights. As you can see, I also did his associates at the same time. Um, yeah. I enjoy painting them, I really do. I like painting different looking models, which is probably why I struggle so much with Space Marines. It's also probably why I'll never be an army builder. I'm much more in, like, one-off models. But it's all good. Um, I'm really rabbiting on, so I will stop. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you reach the end here, much appreciated. Uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Please do leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to see more things like this. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So until then, I'm Gary, aka Hopeless. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. So until then, see ya!